So I just wanted to show y'all that little snippet that you just you just saw. Cause uh like I said, you never know what goes on in somebody's day. And we should always be kind to each other because you never know what somebody just dealt with before they got to you. And that goes for me too, for how I treat people. I try to always treat somebody not like they've had a rough day, but that they're human. And I, like I said, you never know what's going on. Um, I see that we have water droughtages going on in the world, but everybody says, well, we've been in a water drought. And we still haven't fixed it, okay. I, I find it unpleasantly uncomfortable that people find comfortability in the things that are still going on that we could have changed or could have worked towards for a better a better tomorrow, honestly. Um, but walking with faith is very difficult, number one, very challenging. But I have faith that enough of us will wake up sooner than later to give God what he needs. May not be what he won't, but what he needs. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes it's okay to attempt to give God what he needs instead of what he wants. And then somehow he done tricked you to still give him what he wants. So, <laughs> and saying that, start going around. And if you can't, Give one nugget of love a day to somebody, to something. And then, you know, start spreading it out. Don't spread yourself too thin. Because remember, self-love is the best love. If you can't love yourself, it's really going to be hard for you to love someone else. But self-love is the best love. If you can just take a walk anytime throughout the day and just wave to a neighbor... Or wave to a dog. It don't matter what you wave to, but give out that love vibration. I read something uh, yesterday saying that the universe does not recognize your wants or needs. One more time. The universe does not recognize, because the universe is not a human. It does not work like us. It does not recognize your wants or needs. Have y'all ever noticed every time I'm trying to make a video, either a helicopter come or a big rig or... Oh. Stuff is happening. <laughs> this stuff always start happening when I'm trying to tell y'all something. Is if you, you can see the, 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 what is it? The, I call it the, oh, the, the nastiness, the, the gunk of the world. As soon as I start talking... <laughs> It was no helicopter. <laughs> Sorry. Y'all got to laugh with me on that one. It was no helicopter for at least two hours right now. <laughs> Start to take a walk and say, let me get, let me make this video for y'all. And yeah, this is also why I don't spend a lot of time editing and doing crazy stuff. Because every single time, <laughs> never fails. Something happens, a clip get missing or something like that. So y'all get the raw on me. This is it. I am not doing that extra stuff. <laughs> I done figured out in my life. No, no, no. Either people going to listen to truth or they not. All that fancy writing and fancy stuff ain't really going to change whether you're going to listen to the truth of the matter, right? Okay. So, let's see what I was trying to say. Goodness gracious. The universe does not recognize your wants or needs. The universe recognizes the vibrational frequency that you are putting out into the world. It said that if you're putting out a vibrational frequency of fear stress loneliness fear that's one of the biggest ones that one popped up in my dream last night which is very funny uh, things like that it recognizes that and it sends you those things you attract them but if you're recognizing or recognize if you're vibrating in the frequencies of happiness love joy kindness sharing things like this you attract those things so I want you to ask yourself today what vibrational frequency are you using it's very important very very important you have to know what vibrational frequency you are using at every moment of the day I'm just learning that right now Learning it, no pause. I'm mastering it right now. I'm in my mastering stage. 
I don't know about y'all getting master degrees in this, that, and another, but I'm getting a master degree in spirituality. <laughs> if you can ask yourself today what vibrational frequency you are fluctuating in, are, are working with, you will know why you're attracting the things that are coming to you. And I only share this not because I've perfected it, but because I want you guys to perfect it so that you guys can manifest the things that you want. Sit down. Not only the things that you want, but the things that you need. This has been another Blunt Talk with Shane Alexander. I love, love, love you all. Make sure you comment down below what vibrational frequency you are attempting or are working with. I will see you all on another Blunt Talk.